Sorry, Coach. Just a quick introduction for yourself and then opening statements on that match. Hi, my name is Lori Darling Cathal, and the head women's soccer coach at the College of St. Rose in Albany, New York. It was a fantastic game. There's nothing um, that you can say about what the girls did on the field and how well they played and how much they gave. And so I'm very proud of our team. I'm very proud of how hard both teams played and what happened is unfortunate but in life unfortunate things happen I've been through that my father got diagnosed with cancer we went through a stem cell transplant it only worked for three and a half years so I know what it's like to have unfortunate things happen it's just hard because I'm 48 and these kids are 18 to 22. But I'll take nothing away from Grand Valley. I'll take nothing away from the quality of the match. And you have to accept what you can't change. And we always tell our kids, you can only put your energy and effort into what you can change in life. And there's certain things that you can't change. And so it's really hard to swallow. But we have to move forward. We had exceptional seniors. Their leadership was incredible. I think all of you saw the performance of Marika Larendo and how she's the class act of goalkeeping in this country. She's going to go on and get a pro contract in France. She came back through COVID for her last year. She's going to have her MBA. She's going to go on to vet school and own her own veterinary practice. Sierra Lundy is about as incredible of a young woman you're ever going to find. She's an orphan. And what she's done with her soccer career and what she's done since she's been in our program has been absolutely unbelievable. And God bless her that she has people that picked her up when she lost her mom and now they're becoming her new family so you know Louie and M and Libby and Izzy J and Lexi Bors all those girls are incredible student athletes they're what you want every collegiate student athlete to be and we will put our energy and effort into celebrating them today and that's what we need to do Well, we don't really be concerned about what we don't have. I started this program and I coached for 15 years without even a field. And we don't concern ourselves with what we don't have. We put our energy into growing the best players that we can possibly um, grow. You know, to parent in Latin, it means to bring forth. And so for in our program, we want to bring forth and develop and grow the most resilient, strong, spirited, kind, competitive, and generous young women we can possibly mold. And that's what we do. And that's just how I was raised by my parents and so we want to have the most positive impact as we possibly can and really coaching is about sharing your love of your sport but it's a lot more than that it's about developing your players character and bringing forth in them as they go through the maturation process the absolute best 
character you can possibly bring forth in them. And so I think our resilience as a program and as a team is just a reflection of the incredible character and the incredible grit that our players carry and how they represent this program, how they represent the College of St. Rose Athletics, the college itself, and the NE10 Art Conference, and the NCA, to be quite honest, because they're a representation of the NCA as well. And it's the best, really, um, example of fighting back, doing it all the right way, and never relinquishing. And they're going to have bigger battles in life. I know that personally. And this is going to just give them that understanding that sometimes you're going to have to fight like hell. And you got to keep fighting. And it's Jimmy Valvano that says you can never, ever, ever give up. And we weren't going to give up even after the whistle blew. That's all. That's just our character. And that's who we are. Well, it's not what I saw. It's what the video displayed. Um, their player was in an offsides position, and they said we had someone on the line, and there's no one physically there. So all human beings aren't perfect, and we make mistakes, and we have to accept that. And it's just a hard way to lose it championship of this magnitude but it we're going to have to move forward it's a lot harder when you lose your parents than the people that you love so it's a tough thing but we'll pick them up and we'll move forward and you don't get anything out of place and blame you know it stings in the moment but i've never been about what I couldn't control. We don't ever have an edge. We just have a gritty, hard nose, doing all the things right on and off the field, approach to everything that we do. I don't really believe in having an edge in anything in life. I believe in working your guts out and doing everything you can possibly do to be the best you can possibly be. And that's how I shape my players. And, you know, I've never been in this situation. I've been in losing Final Fours when we didn't have VAR, and it would have been a different story then. So, you know, um, just do the best we can. Everyone here is trying to do the best they can. Oh, I don't know, during COVID, we worked our guts out recruiting. <laughs> and so we used every opportunity recruiting to bring in the best talent we could possibly bring into our program and to our college. And we've got a really awesome group of younger players. They're outstanding on and off the field. You know, our bus driver told me yesterday, it's the classiest group of girls. He's ever taken and he does teams from pros all the way down to scholastic and he's been doing it for a long long time so we're really proud of our younger kids and it's so hard to get here so you can't just assume that because you've got a great group of kids that you're going to be able to get here you just can't assume it so we just work at it every day we put everything into it and our you know, younger kids have really taken awesome roles and done incredibly well. And um, you know, we just had an amazing team, really. And we did it all without, you know, ha having everything be as normal as it's been, right? And so, you know, as hard as this is right now, I think, you can reflect back and say COVID's been a lot harder and people have lost a lot more. And 
we're just happy that we could play this year. I mean, we're just so happy we could compete and have a championship and very blessed that we could have a season this year and we managed through COVID. So, you know, but yeah, I hope, you know, hope we can get him back here. But it's really hard to do. Our conference is so hard that you don't take it ever for granted. So. Thank you so much, Coach. Yep. Appreciate it.